Dana Milbank is standing by. Dana, of course, a columnist for the Washington Post, former Republican Congressman David Jolly, Hugh Hewitt, MSNBC political analyst, also host of the Hugh Hewitt Show on the Salem Radio Network. Uh, while we have our conversation, gentlemen, we'll continue to show these pictures of the president here in the Palmetto State. Dana, let me start with you, just your general reactions uh, to what we heard from President Trump there a few moments ago. You know, Craig, uh, this president generates a lot of criticism, uh, pretty much whatever he does. But I think this is the sort of thing uh, that you want the president of the United States to be doing, and that is uh, boosting American industry, uh, giving a feel-good uh, speech like this. Yes, as you noted, it was uh, couched in terms of his uh, his electoral uh, victories. Uh, but you do want uh, president of the United States. Uh, 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 generating enthusiasm for American industry. That's entirely appropriate. I think what's going to occur this weekend uh, in Florida is rather a different matter, but, uh, but, this, but this is the sort of thing we like to see. Um, let, me, let me come to you, Hugh, just really quickly here, because again, let's, let's juxtapose what we just saw there uh, in North Charleston from President Trump. And again, Dana pointing out that in many ways this was very much presidential. This is how one would expect the president to behave on this kind of stage. Juxtapose it with what we saw yesterday from President Trump, uh, that 77-minute that news conference there from the White House. Well, one of the things he said, Craig, in that news conference yesterday is that he had inherited a mess. One portion of that mess is a readiness crisis in naval aviation. More than 60% of the Super Hornets, the F-18 that are on the fleet, are not ready to fly today. And when he said, we're going to put in a very big order with Boeing, maybe. He's negotiating both with Boeing and Lockheed Martin, which makes the F-35 at the same time. He's pretty shrewd in that regard. When he finishes by saying, God bless Boeing, I, I agree with Dana. That's what we like the president to say, but it does connect up to some portion of that 77 minutes yesterday when he talked about the mess he had inherited. Jim Mattis made the, General Mattis, Secretary Mattis made the same point in Europe yesterday when he lectured NATO on how only four or five of the countries in NATO were, were spending their 2%. He has a huge problem set, so I, I kind of thought yesterday's press conference had its peaks and it had its valleys and it certainly had its entertaining moments, but this connects with that portion of it very much. 